Want to learn about breast cancer stage and the different types of breast cancer? We're going to teach you all about it. When diagnosed with breast cancer, the first question that you invariably get from family and friends is, what type of breast cancer do you have? And what stage is your breast cancer? Interestingly, your breast cancer specialists don't focus too much on this. Why? I'll try to explain. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you what the different types of breast cancer are. Predominantly, non-invasive breast cancer and invasive breast cancer. I'm then going to pivot and explain to you the five stages of breast cancer, starting from stage zero, which is more of a precancerous condition, all the way to stage four, which means cancer spread to other organs in the body. I'm also going to teach you why stage is important, but not as important as you might think in deciding the best cancer treatment options for you. So let's get started. I'm going to tell you about the different types of breast cancer. Now type is a reference to the unique features of cancer cells under the microscope. It's different than stage, which I'll cover in a few minutes, and it's different than grade. So of breast cancer type, the one difference you need to know is that precancerous cells, or DCIS, is a, is a precancerous condition. Those are cells that are evolving and we think might evolve into invasive cancer that can invade other parts of the body and threaten you, if not treated well. So that's about 20% of cancers, DCIS, precancer. The vast majority is invasive breast cancer, and there are two cell types that are the most common. One is called invasive ductal carcinoma, and, the, and that accounts for about 70% of breast cancers and invasive lobular carcinoma, which, which accounts for about 20%. There's some other types. Typically, we treat these two cancers generally in the same fashion. They generally have the same threat to you. Within invasive breast cancer, we label some different types of breast cancer based on their receptors, and I'll give you a couple of those. One is called triple negative breast cancer. Another is called HER2 positive breast cancer. And those are two cancer cell types that are more threatening to you. And generally, chemotherapy is recommended to best treat it. The vast majority of breast cancers are hormonally responsive cancers, estrogen-sensitive breast cancers, and are treated with hormonal therapies. Let's cover early stage breast cancer. The way we would define that is stage zero, which is precancer usually defined as DCIS, or stage one and two, invasive cancer. So I've covered DCIS, it's a precancerous condition. We still treat it with surgery, radiation, sometimes some heat, some hormonal therapy. But let's move that one aside, although it does account for about 20% of people that are diagnosed with breast cancer. Stage one and two, early stage invasive breast cancer. The outlook is generally very good. Stage one breast cancer is when the tumor is small, less than two centimeters in size, so less than three quarters of an inch in size. And there's no evidence of cancer in the lymph nodes. The outlook is excellent. We cover survival based on stage elsewhere in the breast cancer school for patients. Stage two is a little bit more advanced, a little bit more threatening, early stage breast cancer. So one way to simplify it is that stage two breast cancer is one that is a little larger than two centimeters, maybe just over an inch in diameter, but no evidence of cancer in the lymph nodes, or possibly small a centimeter in size, and there's evidence of cancer in one or two or three lymph nodes underneath the arm. Later stage breast cancer, stage three and stage four breast cancer, really make up later stage breast cancer. So let me cover stage three breast cancer first. Stage three breast cancer, cancer is generally when the tumor is larger, maybe four, five, six centimeters in size. Most stage three breast cancers have evidence of cancer in the lymph nodes or multiple lymph nodes. Not everyone, but many. Inflammatory breast cancer where the cancer presents with swelling and redness and thickening of the skin. That is a stage three breast cancer. 
but stage three breast cancer, when we take a deep look and look at get CAT scans, bone scans, and PET scans, do not have metastatic disease. They do not have evidence of cancer that we can find elsewhere in the body, in the bone, the brain, the liver, and other parts of the body. So it has yet to spread elsewhere, at least that we can find. Stage three breast cancer, the majority of these patients are treated upfront before surgery with chemotherapy to shrink the cancer cells, to kill any cancer cells that might be elsewhere in the body that we cannot find. Following chemotherapy, generally patients undergo surgery and following surgery, radiation therapy. And then if their tumor is sensitive to estrogen, then they undergo hormonal therapy afterwards. Stage four breast cancer is a real threat to your life. That means that we have been able to determine that cancer has spread and grown in other parts of the body. And that's what people die of, of breast cancer, generally. Cancer that is growing elsewhere in the body. We typically treat patients that come to see us at presentation with metastatic disease with either chemotherapy first or hormonal therapy first. Surgery can play a role for some patients, surgery in the breast, and radiation can play a role in a few situations. So when you put it all together, later stage breast cancer is a much bigger threat than early stage breast cancer. We can treat it and treat it effectively. Early stage breast cancer survival is much better than later stage breast cancer. And that's why we do less chemotherapy with earlier stage breast cancer and more chemotherapy, later stage breast cancer. So why is breast cancer stage not as important as it was in the past? Why are my physicians not telling me immediately what stage I am, stage one, two, three, or four? Well, for many, many years, stage, the size of the tumor, whether cancer's in the lymph nodes or it's gone elsewhere, was the best way for us to identify patients at low risk, probably not needing chemotherapy, and high risk, those that would need chemotherapy. But I mean, we're talking 20, 30, 40 years ago. Now we have much more sophisticated ways of determining whether cancer is more of a threat. We check receptors, estrogen, progesterone, HER2, and others. Grade, we can look under the microscope and see if the cells are a little bit more angry, higher grade versus just becoming cancer and not as angry, lower grade. We have genomic assays that look deeper into cancer cells to determine whether someone is at a higher risk for the cancer coming back and might more benefit from chemotherapy rather than hormonal therapy or radiation or not. So we have a lot more sophisticated ways to tailor our recommendations to treat your cancer to you. And as you're getting the sense, breast cancer is very complicated. And it's why the Breast Cancer School for Patients recommends that you educate yourself and engage your physicians. To learn more about breast cancer type and breast cancer stage, visit the Breast Cancer School for Patients, where we will teach you everything you need to know. We're here to help you get the best possible breast cancer care in your community. Register on our website to get our list of questions to prepare you for your next doctor visit.